you smell something? You don't smell that. <laughs> That's odd. But I thought you'd have smelled it a lot by now. Death. So I was attracted to the project because I think it's it's interesting to see a story of extremism told from the other side. And maybe you're immune to it. They didn't smell it that morning either. And they were too busy saying goodbye to their kids, parents, husbands, wives, saying love you. See you later. Uh, I don't think you see that very often. I think it's it's something that's it's quite important for all of us to try and understand, you know? 52 people never finished that day. And then there's the nearly 800 injured, but hey, at least they didn't die, did they? Injured's not dead, is it? Like being left with no legs, or blinded, or suicidal, because you wake screaming every night, seeing the, the reach. So I'm playing the character of Edge, and uh, Edge is someone that, through his circumstances and his resentments in life, he sort of gravitated towards this group that support him and push him forwards, uh, even if it's like in the wrong in the wrong circumstances for the wrong thing. Your family's not dead. So all they've got to do is find a way to live with someone who's had their life broken. But at least they're not dead. Now, injured's such a nice word, isn't it? I mean, it could be a scratch, and they do massage the numbers, so at least said, soon it's mended. We can forget about them. Their PTSD and learning to walk again, sleep again, live again, they don't count. And I think he's... You know, he's smart, he's quite dangerous, and he's also the spearhead of the response group. I mean, we could go into the seriously injured. Like dying three times in surgery and having 760 in change and your house keys fished out your guts because you were beside Khan when he went off. Them. Oh. It's just such a lot of work. I think it's really important to be bringing, well, work like this and work in general in the arts to rural and regional areas because, I mean, I don't think you see these sorts of messages in, in plays and theatre around these areas. And when you do, it really inspires the local creatives to develop and it, it uh, exposes younger people to the arts more and encourages them to get involved. You know, the really funny thing is that those last stories were one person. One out of nearly 800 injured, but move on. You know, they're not dead. They'll accept it, get over it, just like we are supposed to when people who leech off our f***ing country. We don't accept it. We don't roll over 52 dead victims, 784 injured, and you bring your madness to the home that welcomed you. No more.